Hey, it's Mike Dixon. Uh, here are the video one of Excel Boot Camp. Uh, in these series of videos, we're going to try to just give a, get us up to speed in Excel, learn a few tricks, uh, and learn just the basics to get us uh, kind of up and going, ready for school or work or whatever it is we're trying to learn. Um, all right, so let's get going. This first video, we are going to figure out uh, some ways to get around in Excel a little faster. Um, so I tend to use the keyboard quite a lot as opposed to the mouse. So I'm going to show you kind of what I uh, do to get around in the, uh, using the keyboard. So um, here's a little spreadsheet. You should be able to download this Excel boot camp. And video number one. First of all, you can see down here uh, on the bottom we uh, have different tabs, right? So the tabs are uh, different um, workbooks. So we're gonna use workbook video number one uh, for this video. Right, so I have three different columns of data, right? So you can see that the columns uh, have labels A, B, C, D, E, uh, and on and on and on. So columns go up and down. So I remember that by, um, uh, this is kind of a silly trick, but I, lo I remember by thinking about a column in a, like a building, or even better, like a coliseum. So the coliseum, like the old Roman columns, you know, that uh, go up and down, right? So those are columns. So in Excel, columns uh, are labeled with letters, and rows uh, have numbers, right? So here's the rows going down. All right, so there's that. So if I want to get around in the data, I can just use my arrow keys once I'm in here, right? So if I push you know, left or right or down, uh, I kind of move around. So there's going to be a lot of time here pretty soon that I'm going to want to highlight a series of data. So like I want to do something like this, right? So I did that with my mouse, right? So if I want to highlight all those, I just grab them and highlight. However, I can do that with the keyboard too by holding the shift button down and then using the arrow keys, all right? So if I hold the shift button down and use the arrow keys. All right, so that's cool. So another trick is I can get all the way to the end of a column, you know, up or down, or a row, by holding the control button down. So now I'm holding the control button down and using the arrow keys. So if I do that, it goes all the way to the end, all right? So I pushed control right, and it went all the way to the right. So if I control left, it goes all the way to the left. If I hit control down, it goes all the way down until it hits a space, right? An empty in an, an empty space. So it does the same thing, right? So if I put something right here, like I put job title, um, and then try that, it will still only stop at last name because there's a space right here, right? But if I put job right here and then try it, it'll go all the way there. All right, interesting. So now if I combine this shift, remember if I hold shift down, it'll just go one at a time. And if I hit control down, it'll go all the way up and down, you know, all the way to the end. If I combine those two things together, then what I end up is I'm able to highlight sort of whole rows, whole sections, uh, I should say, of the, of the data all at once. So here, if I hit control, shift, and then if I hit down, what's going to happen? Control, shift, down. From here, it will highlight everything that I, from the cell I'm in all the way to the, to the bottom of a cell where there's nothing, uh, nothing, there's a space below it, right? So let's try control, shift, down. Whoops, here we go, hit a weird button. Control shift down. Cool, all right. So I hit control shift right, does the same thing. Right now, this is what I did when I screwed up a second ago. If I hit control shift right and then down, I get it all highlighted, right? So real fast, I can do control shift down up and I get, oh, sorry, over down, I get it all. All right, so that might be, uh, that might be it comes in handy sometimes. Uh, so, you know, you could just use the mouse, of course, you can do this too. However, sometimes we'll find, I think, in the next video, oh, maybe the end of this video, or maybe we have like a million numbers, literally a million. So if I were to highlight all a million of those with my mouse, it's going to take a really long time. So sometimes these little shortcuts might come in handy. Alright, so uh, a couple of things, I've already done this before in this video. If I select uh, the num the letters, above for each column, I get the entire column selected. All right. And if I hit the numbers, I get the entire row selected. So you can do that uh, with the keyboard shortcut too. So control spacebar, control spacebar selects the entire column. And space, or sorry, shift spacebar selects the column, the entire row. Um, and if 
I hit Control Shift Spacebar, it selects everything again the same as as long as there's uh, nothing to the left of it or sorry outside of it, right? So if there's a space anywhere around it, it will go that far. Right? So that's kind of cool. Control Shift Spacebar. All right. Uh, what else? We're gonna do some copying. All right. So I'm gonna select all of this data. I'm gonna hit Control C for copy. Right. And then I'm going to move over here and hit Control V, paste. So I did that all without touching the mouse. So certainly you could do that with the mouse. There's no problem. All right. So select this. Right click. Uh, say copy. Over here. Say paste. So there's all these different paste options. Um, whoa. Just click a little paste, and we get that. So certainly you can do that with the mouse. Uh, it might come in a little handy to you know learn my tricks fast. Control C, Control V, done. Okay. Um, so a couple things. Let's actually change the format of this a little bit. Uh, let's just make it uh, red, right? So I just went up here to the font and pushed the little button and made it red. Now when I copy it, Control C, Control V, it actually keeps keeps the red. Uh, but let's let's just make it back to black, just to say that it's black right there. But now, what if we wanted to match some format, right? Somewhere else. So let's say I actually wanted it red. It wasn't copied and pasted. Let's just say there's some other row of numbers here, and I want it to match the same format over here. So there's something called Format Painter. It's right here. And this is actually in all Microsoft products, uh, but I use it a lot in Excel. Hit Format Painter. Highlight what you want to do. Format Painter, and then highlight something else, and it will apply the format that you have on that over here. So formats that would include you know, over here we have all the borders we could do, some different fills, some different font uh, colors, the font size itself up here, the font number, uh, font name, uh, font size, uh, you know, if it's bold, italic, underlined, all that stuff, you can apply that with the format painter. Great, so the final thing of this video that I wanted to show you was uh, some kind of cool stuff about autofill. So here's a series of numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I highlight all those numbers, like I just did, right? So control shift down. Grab my mouse and come over here to the bottom uh, right corner. I see this little box right here. So if I hover over that, I get a plus sign. Now if I hold my mouse, my left mouse button down and drag, I'm still holding the mouse button down, but I'm dragging it down. You can see that it's actually counting something. So now I'm all the way down to 14, 15, 16. Now if I let go, it actually just fills, so they call this autofill, right? So it figures out that there's some pattern here. And then it just continues the pattern. So this pattern can go uh, it can go the other way, uh, in rows, right? One, two, three, so you only need a few. Oops, sorry, control shift, over, and then drag. There it goes, continue that pattern. Uh, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, by ones. You could go two, four, six, eight. It could be just about any type of pattern that repeats. Uh, Excel will figure out your pattern for you as long as it's not too complicated and continue it. So this also works for some words as long as the words uh, have mean, some meaning, mostly dates, right? So I can type in January, Jan, Feb, March, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. There we go. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, so this is cool, uh, and it sometimes comes in handy. Um, and sometimes you want to do more than you can just drag, though. So how would you do that? Well, in that case, let's just uh, start a little series here. Click on Home, and then go over here to this Fill. So over here on this Fill on the Home ribbon. So this is just what we've done, continue a pattern, right? So we want to go down here to what we call it Series. Uh, and we get this little pop-up box. Right? So the pop-up box says we want a series in rows or columns. So remember, column goes up and down, so we want it in columns. But I want it to go uh, step value one. I want it to stop all the way at let's say 500,000. Right? So I want from one to 500,000. So if I were to drag this all the way down like I did before, that would take me I don't know 10 minutes or something. It would just drive me crazy. And okay, so this will just do it automatically. Uh, so I think no, nope. that's it. So one to five hundred thousand. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I think I did something wrong. Let's try it one more time. I think you don't have to have it. You can't have anything highlighted. So let's try it again. Series 
series. One, two, five hundred thousand. Done okay. Oh, it went in rows. So let's see. Control Z is undo. Let's try it again. Fill series. One in columns. One, two, five hundred thousand. There we go. So it went all the way to five hundred thousand. How do we know that it went all the way to five hundred thousand? Well, we could go over here and just drag this little thing all the way down. Oh man, there's a lot. And once we get to the bottom, we'll never even know if it's the bottom. Still going. Or we can use my little trick, right? The control down button. There it is, 500,000. There's nothing lower than that. All right, so this is, like I said, it might come in handy if I wanted to highlight all of this data. Say I wanted to copy this entire row. Control shift down, control C, move over, control V. Paste it, right? Done. All right, so that is all we're gonna do in this video. Hopefully that's helpful. We'll come back next time.